Hello everyone, welcome to the beach. I'm Coach Harris, and today we'll be going over the syllabus overview. The objective today is to prepare you for the syllabus quiz and share with you some information that will help you be successful this semester. Okay, so some instructions, kind of some ground rules right now. Uh, what you should be able to do is access a copy of your syllabus, whether it be a hard copy or a, an online version. Just be able to you know, see both as we'll be uh, needing you to follow along with this video. Uh, also, you'll want a paper and pen uh, to write down any questions you may have. Uh, you'll want to contact me with any questions after we're done with this overview. And then finally, uh, you'll want to go online and complete the syllabus quiz. Okay, so contact info and office hours. Uh, best way to reach me is through email. Uh, you can see my email right here. Uh, please allow me 24 hours or so, sometimes up to 48 hours to respond. Uh, but generally speaking, I am quick to respond because I know uh, oftentimes the questions you have, uh, you know, you're feeling anxious about or whatnot. So I will do my best to get a response to you quickly. However, if I get an email over the weekend, oftentimes I'm not able to reply to that until Monday. So just know if you reach me after Friday afternoon, uh, you may not get a response until Monday. Uh, office hours are on Mondays from 11 to noon. You can reach me via Zoom that way. Uh, I will also be available for appointments as well, so don't feel constricted that you only can meet me at 11 to noon. Uh, we just need to communicate a time that we can set up a Zoom uh, to go over whatever questions or things you want to discuss. The Zoom login for online classes and office hours is listed here on this slide, so please uh, make a note of that uh, in your phone or someplace handy that you can reference that uh, whenever you need. Okay, so this class and this semester will be in, entirely online as of right now. There's no plans for in-person uh, instruction. So that being the case, what types of instruction can you expect? Well, uh, there's two types. One is synchronous online and the other one would be asynchronous online. Essentially synchronous means we'll be live together. Uh, this would be via Zoom and uh, asynchronous will be when you do work on your own. There will be uh, portions of each module that will require you to either listen to a podcast, watch a video, or review some other PowerPoints that I've prepared. Uh, so that is how some of the other instruction type will occur for this semester. Okay, connectivity requirements. Make sure that you have a web-enabled uh, device, tablet, phone, or computer. Uh, you'll want to make sure you have good Wi-Fi, especially for Zoom conference calls, uh, because it requires a good connection. Otherwise, sometimes the audio or visual cuts out, and that can disrupt your learning. Uh, make sure that your Zoom account is set up and running, and that you're able to access that uh, readily. And lastly, it's optional, but I highly recommend where, uh, having a pair of Headphones. Now, they do not need to be Bluetooth, but uh, I use AirPods. I understand that those are very expensive, so I don't anticipate that everybody go run out and get a pair of AirPods, but I do highly recommend uh, that you use headphones when we are on Zoom calls. It helps with communication, both listening and talking. So, uh, just something you can to the wise. Okay, student learning objectives. Okay, now what you see here on the screen are some very general learning objectives that we have for, or that I have for all my courses. Uh, you'll want to reference your course specific syllabus for the specific student learning outcomes that uh, are intended for your course. But in general, on successful completion of this course, you will be able to identify the fundamental scientific principles related to sports psychology. You'll be able to discuss the fundamental scientific theories to improve performance. Um, you'll be able to explain the fundamental guidelines for developing evidence-based strategies that will improve performance. And lastly, uh, we want to give you some practice on applying these evidence-based strategies to motivate and inspire yourself and others to be 1% better every day, because that's really the true goal of anything that we're trying to learn and trying to do is to improve ourselves and help others do the same. Okay, required textbook. Okay, in your syllabus right now, take a quick peek at the required textbook. There may also be optional textbooks there. Now, I highly recommend that you get the most current edition. The edition listed in your syllabus is the uh, current textbook and edition that you should be purchasing. 
or renting. Uh, that being the case, if you do use an older version, uh, that's possible, but I don't recommend it because the way that the course schedule of topics is lined up, uh, you know, you'll be able to reference specific chapters and, and things that if you have an older version, they won't really line up, so it'll make it a little confusing. But uh, to each their own, if you decide on an older version, you'll just have to uh, wade through a little bit more uh, nuance. Okay, types of assignments and grading. Okay, what you see here is a generic list of assignments. These are not necessarily the assignments for your course, uh, so please reference your syllabus to understand your assignments and the point value and the percentage towards your grade. So for instance, uh, you'll see here in this example, uh, the self-evaluation and in parentheses, you see the number two. That number two indicates that there are two uh, self-evaluation assignments. And then the total points for all of those assignments put together is 40 points. So if you divide by two, you could understand that each of those self-evaluations is worth 20 points each. Altogether, they're worth 8% of your grade, so each assignment would essentially be worth 4% of your grade. So you can look down the list of, on your syllabus to understand uh, you know, the point values for your assignments and that total percentage toward your grade uh, for each one. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Okay, assignments and exams. All assignments and exams will be submitted online uh, to Beachboard. So please, uh, you know, get familiar with Beachboard. All assignments and exams must be completed during the scheduled time. Review Beachboard and assignment rubrics, descriptions, and due dates. Uh, make sure you're out in front of the, out in front of everything. Uh, don't wait until the last minute to, to look at an assignment and realize you had to either watch a video and or listen to a podcast uh, in order to answer some of the questions. So please uh, make sure that you're staying on top. Review each board and exam instructions and due dates. All exams are timed and taken at a specific day and time. Generally speaking, they'll be given during the uh, class time that you're scheduled for this semester. So please set aside that time to be able to uh, complete the necessary work. Late assignments and exams are not accepted except with university excused absence and or a written uh, approval by me. So if you have any conflicts with due dates and, and things, please communicate early and often so that way I can, uh, I can understand your situation and give you time as needed to complete the assignments and or exams. So, assignment due dates. Okay, essentially you have one week to complete all assignments. Uh, if you have a class that is once per week, so say you have a Monday night class, all assignments will be due the following Sunday by 11.59 p.m. So you have an entire week to complete the assignments. For those of you that have two-day-a-week classes, so if you have a Tuesday-Thursday class, all assignments will be due the next week, Monday, so the day prior to the first day of that week of class, or the first day of class for that next week, that's when your due dates are. So essentially every class will be given an entire week to complete uh, assignments. Okay, assigning your grade at the end of the semester, it's very traditional in this class. We do a point value system, and that point value system relates to a letter grade, A, B, C, D, and F. So with that, uh, traditional percentages, 90, 80, 70, 60 percent, and so forth to determine your grade. Now, when the final grade is going to be submitted for your transcript, if you are within 0.5 points, not percentage points, but an actual point value to the next highest grade, you will receive the next highest grade. And there's no exceptions to that uh, rule. So, but if you do have any questions about your grade, please let me know. Okay. Hopefully you're all super excited for this semester. I know it's going to be a very interesting one because we are entirely online, very unique for all of us. But hopefully you're geeked up and, and ready to rock and roll. Uh, that being the case though, if you do need to drop this class for any reason, you have until September 7th to drop it without a W. So if you do need to drop this class after September 7th, please review the university website for your uh, withdrawal options at that time. 
Lastly, I want to set some expectations and give you some additional information. I uh, just know that this syllabus and course schedule uh, and assignment due dates are scheduled to change, but I will not surprise you with anything. I'll give you ample time to make sure that you are able to complete the assignment and do it you know, well. Uh, all assignments, exams, quizzes require access to Beachboard and an internet-enabled device. Any changes to the course will be announced in a Zoom class, in Zoom class, and on Beachboard. So again, uh, attending class is important, checking Beachboard is important uh, for many reasons, but uh, that, is, that is another reason to be in class. Uh, I use Beachboard as my primary source of communication, so please check Beachboard regularly, even if it's not a day of class. I may have uh, given an announcement or sent out an announcement, and if you are not receiving Beachboard emails to your personal email or your school email address to alert you of the announcement. Uh, you will still be held accountable for any information I do send out uh, via Beachboard. So please just check it twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, especially on days that you do not have uh, class. Uh, also, uh, no late assignments are accepted as mentioned prior. Uh, if you do have a university excused absence or prior written authorization from me, then, then we can work with you and get you um, ample opportunity to turn in that work. Okay, oh, please, please, please communicate any scheduling conflict uh, with me early and often. The earlier you let me know something, the better it is for both of us. Uh, so just again, communication is a key to building relationships as well as uh, being successful. So, you know, if you do have any issues, please let me know and uh, we'll work together. Okay, lastly, uh, all written assignments for this class are to be submitted to Beachboard and specifically Dropbox and .pdf. Any other file format, uh, then you turn in a document unless otherwise specifically uh, indicated will result in a point deduction for that assignment. So there's reason, the primary reason for that is formatting issues. If you deliver in .pdf, I am able to, your, your formatting never gets uh, whacked out. If you deliver something in a .doc or .docx, um, then oftentimes the formatting gets wonky. It's just a byproduct of having to import documents into uh, Beachboard. Or, and, and so that's a big reason why. Also, I cannot open uh, Mac products like .pages. Uh, so please, you know, if you do uh, submit it, typically I'll give you a heads up that, you know, I need you to resubmit it, but if I don't give you a heads up and you see a point deduction uh, in, your, in your assignments, most likely, you know, there, there's a good chance that it was due to uh, not being put in the proper format. So, with that being the case, it'll be part of the rubric, so if you review your rubric prior to every submission, you should have no issues. All right, now's the time to make sure that you, whatever questions you've jotted down, that you either send them to me via email or set up a time to talk about them on Zoom, and we will go ahead and, uh, you know, do our best to answer your questions at that time. Okay, lastly, uh, after you, if you don't have any questions, you can go ahead and take the syllabus quiz, and the instructions for that is to review the syllabus overview presentation, make sure you go back to your hard copy or online copy of the, uh, of the syllabus to review student learning objectives, required course uh, textbooks, and some other specifics that weren't directly specified in this, uh, in this video, and that way you have a clear understanding of those specifics for your course. And lastly, just want to let you, you know, let you guys know. I sure do uh, hope that we can all stay safe and we can stay healthy. Uh, please follow the state, federal, and local guidelines for staying safe and healthy, so that way we can do our best to be in a position to be back in person in the spring. So have fun, stay safe, be one percent better every day. Go beach.